Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm the channel. The channel. All right. Well, you should say my channel, but then I always screw up and when you're here and it's our channel, but then you're like, it's not our channel. The channel's literally well, I was my just name. Thinking, like rather than a channel, you're the channel. The channel. Like the one to watch. So clearly I've got this guy with his jokes today, which I know, facts. I love it. I love it. So today we have, as you can see, another thread up box. Thread up box. And Look it's it a up. men's box. So if oh, you stuff for me, yes. So I, this is probably my fourth one. I don't know. I've, I've done a lot at this point. And I always say I'm never buying this box again, only because I find it boring to list men's items. But here's the deal guy. Men are the best customers. They don't ask a ton of questions. They pay full price. I actually sold a full price bathing suit the other day for $198 and it was a man's account. So I can only assume a man did. He didn't even wait for the offer to come in. I just, Men make good buyers. You know what you want. You go in and really like a, a men's... Except the one you're married to because then you're going to say like, why'd you spend so much money? That's not true. Um, I'm just I a deal finder. You, you would never spend... I'm actually a deal finder. You are. Me. You are. And you research a lot. So why did I buy this box then? Well, because this guy won't buy himself new clothes and we have found some pretty great stuff, but... I'm going to get in a better habit of listing more men's items because when I do, they sell for a lot. They sell quickly. And I've also started taking, because I had four or five, however many boxes worth of men's stuff. I listed a few pieces. I've always recouped my money back selling just a few pieces. It's just the boring stuff, the button ups, the t-shirts. But my local Plato's Closet loves to take men's items. And we happen to be I'm going sorry. there tomorrow. So uh, we bought this. It wasn't Black Friday. It was like two weeks before that. They ran a random 15% off sale. And so it's usually $110. It was $93.50 and no shipping, but with taxes, I paid $99.58. So down in the description, I will put what that worked out to my cost of goods once I know how many pieces are in here because I believe this is 50, 50 pounds. I think that's what it is. Solid. Actually, I see my little, I already sliced it open. Yeah, um, that would open. Does it? Did it just says. No. Well, I peeked to see what it was because I had so many coming. Oh, um, so I did see on top clothes. there was a tie. So I'm like, okay, but this is men's. It's always a surprise for me, though. I never know what's in these. He doesn't. I, I mean, I, I peek like sometimes like time. on the, the thing or two on top. Oh, but no, no peeking today. So my hope for this box is, of course, to sell it a couple items and recoup my $99, find some good stuff for this guy. We're actually on the hunt for a tie. It's like the thing I hate to get in these boxes, but we have a formal event, so I need a black tie. I see, that's very specific though. So it if is, it's in it here, is. I promise you this was not <laughs> predestined. We'll just go on Amazon and buy one. So, yeah. all right, are you ready for this? Do you want me to keep it in my lap or do you want me to set the box um, down? Oh, you can set it I mean, down. I don't mind it. No, my we'll leg set if you it like down. It we can, then we'll take okay. turns. All right, take turns. We'll take turns, yeah. Hopefully I don't mess up the names of something. Oh, it's fine. I don't know how to pronounce all this fancy stuff. All right, go ahead. Oh, I'm starting. Yep. All right. We have a red pullover zip up. Uh, let's see the brand. Oh, it's Brooks Brothers. Okay. I do know how to say that one. Feels pretty comfortable. What size uh, is it? Size medium. Oh, not you. We so need large ones, friends. Medium is... It's a little fella though, because I'm not a big guy. You're not. It, it's, you know, we've been together large. for so long. This was our 10 year Shh, renewal back door. there. It's um, not black. It's but... not black, but there is a tie. Yes. <laughs> uh, that's how I knew it was a men's box. Remember, I saw a tie on the oh, top. Oh, okay. So you um, knew there was a tie. When we first started dating, this guy wore a size small, and then you graduated to mediums, and now you're a large, but yet your waist size keeps shrinking. How is this possible? My, my chest grew. But your waist shrunk. But my waist stayed the same. It's ridiculous. Okay, so this is just a tie. The brand is Arrow. It doesn't say that it's silk or anything. I have been collecting ties in one of the random tubs I have. So that would just get added to that. Maybe eventually. So maybe we find that. There's a black tie in there? Maybe, yeah, but I, I right. yeah. There could be, but I, I didn't see it when I opened up a few tubs. Okay, here we have a just basic long sleeve t-shirt burgundy color from J. Crew. Oh, I like it. It's a medium also. Oh. Um, a lot of wash wear though. A lot of, you think so? Yeah. It looks like it's no. a heather color, no, right? look at that. Oh, the pilling on the neck. Pilling, yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well. New with tags. There we go. This is Adidas. Retail for $36. Short, some kind of R-E-S-C-T short. What's that mean? Probably the name of it, but short. Why are it's they a, so short? They're tennis shorts. Oh, okay. There is, a, there's like some spots on the back. Tennis shorts. I don't get why, like, why do you need to wear such short clothes and skirts and short shorts to play tennis? 
I'm not a tennis player. I can't do them in there. I mean, but I'm sure all there's right. a reason. They all do. I want to make my piles. So this is oh, going to be a Play-Dohs right oh, there. No. Okay. Yep. Brooks Brothers. Eh. What's the condition? Is that sellable? Yeah. It's pretty good. We'll list okay. that. So that's the and list And we'll list this. Yep. All right. Now we have... I'm trying to get work smarter with these boxes. Large, long sleeve polo shirt. Um, I'm sure that has a special name, right? When it has those two pockets like that on the front of it. Will you wear it? It's a large. I mean, you don't like it's my size. Well, it's okay because it's on both sides. Uh, I don't. I don't like too. the lopsidedness. Like I feel like if I have just one pocket on, I'm leaning over. All right, this is a dress shirt, Brooks Brothers, the original polo shirt. But is this? They've got a lot of different tags. This looks see, like vintage, like the but I, they do different tags for different things. This feels very nice. Where's the size? don't see a size oh duh right here. here it's a medium it says it, a big m right, right there different. but this seems fit. like i wonder if this would fit you it just feels like a feel it feels like a really nice quality yeah i mean it's a different kind of pima cotton weave to the know. cotton so it does but i will if you don't want that i will list it i mean when do i wear a button-up shirt when i ask I'm you i'm going to, take to me on, on friday thing. and it's been how long your sister's wedding i think yes because you still had a that was here. october 2019. What, 19. Yeah. So we have another pair of Adidas shorts. These are more like a golf short, if I were to guess yeah. the feel of them. They're size 32. Um, no tags on them. There's, There's some staining because yeah. someone. I have a pair of white golf shorts that she bought me too. Um, women, if you're gonna buy your husband's golf shorts, still buy white. The white. It just never fails. Like your your leg hits the the steering wheel or something, it gets it marks on them. They're hard to keep clean. All cotton Oxford. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, J. Crew slim, regular J. Crew, not factory, size medium, and just a nice button up. But yes, it's nice, but am I actually going to take the time to list these? Ugh. Ugh. Oh, I know you're making a pile, so saying I am. you're going to. Well, yeah. All right. We just got what you some, needed. Just some casual wear dockers. Here is a funny story, they though. They do have the tags, though. So, new attacks is good. He needed a pair of khakis. For what? Oh, um, he plays ice hockey, and they were supposed to wear khakis. They wanted us just to dress nice. Yes. Khakis this dude did not up. own... We've worked from home now since 2015. 2015, and he didn't own a pair of khakis. Like, not a single one. But alas, I went into my inventory, and I had, had listed some. a pair of Dockers random khakis, and so we pulled them so, from inventory. Those are comfortable, though, if I mean... Because they're, they're, this they're is golf. the Dockers Golf. Oh, right? I've never seen so that. So it's more that golf sport stretch material. Okay. I guess I'll list it. They're too big for me, though. This is a sport something or another. Baseball. Yeah, Mariners. I would not have known that, but it, it told me right here. Uh, uh, this yeah. retail for $49.99. It is a nice, like a terry towel material. Yeah. But of course it's white, so hopefully there's no... Well, cause that looks like some one of their old jerseys. Oh, I like it. It's very retro, vintage looking. Well, which... and so you don't know, but people do out there. So it's oh. Cooperstown collection, which oh. is, that's like the retro throwback stuff. Like oh. that's sought after. Okay. People, and it's a large. like the Cooperstown stuff. So I should get this listed. I'm going to put a different pile yeah. of things. I need to get listed quickly. Our sports New stuff always tags. sells. Like when we get jerseys and stuff in it. So I'm always glad to see sports stuff. I'd rather see my team so I could keep something. Another <laughs> tie. From Thai Tales. I don't know if that's a but I brand. But I need this in my list now. <laughs> yeah, because it's like little snowmen. We are going to there. a black tie event, but it's kind of a holiday party. Yeah. I mean, you could wear that. Playing different instruments. I oh. think there's a French horn on there, maybe. I don't know. Good try. It's just a horn. Of. Random. See, when you watch random these videos, you learn drums. random things. I played the French horn for eight years. <laughs> I was also the drum major of the marching band. I won't say what you guys called yourselves. Okay. Um, these are New Balance. They oh. are Florida Gator colors, so not my favorite. I went to Florida State. Um, New Balance 420. They literally look to be look in brand new. brand new condition. They're definitely not my size, though. I can tell they're small. They are small. They are a U.S. men's size 7. So oh, Too big for our son. Yep, he's just now on a he's, Is that what he's wearing today? Is a pair very similar to that? Yeah. So, those will go in the list of those yeah. now, Kyle. Again? Hey, guess what? Just grab both of them. Grab both of them. Oh, babe, look at this tie. You're going to love this one. <laughs> we don't do politics on I my YouTube channel. I didn't say anything about it. I just said you're going to love that tie. And so we have an Ohio State 
So for any of our Ohio fans, we have a tie for you for your husband. You might want to snatch that up. This is a 100% silk Donald Trump tie. Apparently he has his own collection. It looks very fancy. I did not know that. I did actually, to be honest, I didn't know. I knew that Ivanka has clothing and shoes, but I did not know that Donald Trump, maybe they sold it at his hotel. But 100% silk, so. Possible. I will list silk ties. I still have not listed. I have some from another box, Armangio's, I don't know. Apparently people told me they were worth a lot. No clue. Oh, it's my turn. Yes, I did the ties. New with tags, what are you? Highland Outfitters. Never heard of it. Um, just looks, I don't know. That's just a V-neck with an uneven pocket. <laughs> I said, babe, it's a large and it's probably not worth a lot. Do you want this? But it, it'll go to Plato's. Okay. All right, I'm gonna grab this because it looks cool. What is this? Something striped. Ooh. A Ralph Lauren. Lauren Ralph Lauren. Lauren Ralph Lauren. It's a more higher. Because that means something. Yeah, it okay. does. All right. Um, it's like a cotton knit. It's actually pretty heavyweight. It would keep you warm, I imagine, like because I. So they cut hot. out. The, it's a medium. They cut out the tag under the inside tag. Tell me what material it is if it's up here. Oh, 100% cotton. Mm -hmm. Did you already say that? Well, I said it feels like a cotton knit. That's pretty. I think I did. You'll rewind us later and know, and then call me a liar idea. if I didn't. I won't. Okay. You will. You say, oh, you did not. Okay. What do we got? We got a pair of jeans. Evidence. Denim. What do we got? Uni, uni, uh, how do you say that? You know, uni loco. Uni loco. That store at Disney Springs. No, I know. I was waiting for you to say it. Oh, I can't. U N I Q L O. I, I, I can't. I can never say it. I, we, so, I mean, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but phonetically, it looks like Uniqlo. Uniqlo, yes. You know, um, I, Uniqlo. I just couldn't form the words. So, I see other resellers getting excited to find this brand, but we go there often. We live in Orlando, and it's cheap. Like, the clothes are so cheap. Like, I love buying my kids Disney stuff from there because the, the t-shirt's like $10. I don't know. So... But one of the last boxes, I did get a pair of joggers from there that are very comfortable. That you have, yes. These mm -hmm. are a size 32, 32. I won't fit you. You need a 31, right? I don't need any denim anyways. Oh, well, unless you're trying to be the right size, right? Because mine are right. all falling off. They are. Uh, a 30 or 31. Those will go to Plato's. All right. We have Ooh, a, let me try and see what brand this is. Right here. That doesn't say. Oh, a tag. We got a Perry Ellis Classic Fit Blazer. Pinstripe, uh, looks like it's black with a uh, white and blue. Size 46. Stripes in there, so. Polyester rayon. 46, so that's a larger jacket. I have so many to list. don't know. But it's new with time, so put Again, it here. Again, I wear men's large and my jacket size is a 38, so. Put it here. No, like in the middle. In the middle. In the middle. In the middle. All right, a Ralph Lauren, size small, just a very classic. Yeah, with the little just horse, a button, just no. a chambray denim color. Maybe one day you'll sit with me while I'm taking pictures and steam some stuff. This is the thing. I don't mm, steam anything. That sounds really boring. You did it for me once, and then I never listed the stuff, and it got shoved back in a... And that's why I'll never steam anything again, because <laughs> I did spend a long time. All right, we have the North Face zip-up fleece jacket. That's nice. Just standard plain black. I have, I think, the same one in gray. Like uh, on it, a bit. it is oh, a some... large. Oh, I think you should just keep that. There's like some stains on it. It's definitely faded, in my opinion. But these, these are what you like to wear around the, the house, right? Maybe. We'll see. I'll actually happens. investigate it more later, but I'll keep it separate for now. Okay. I don't know if Gap. I need another fleece zip up. Size small, wrinkle resistant. I love when it says that. I don't know what kind of wrinkles it's resisting, but it surely didn't resist all of them. Right. Is this, is this really a men's small? I guess it could be. It just seems The small. buttons are on the right side, so. Oh, they are. See, I, I can't keep that straight. Okay. Just a gap button up. This is going to go to Play-Doh, so I'm going to finish These are your lefty. Buttons are on your dominant side, which means it's a women's shirt. Oh, okay. Go men's ahead. These buttons are on the right. Oh, we got another, let's see. Alfani. Never heard of that. Do you know who that one is? Yeah. Just a cotton... It's Polo, long sleeve, shirt. I doubt Plato's would even take this. Yeah. But I, I'm going to try. It's not trendy or anything, I don't think. Like, this is, I mean, I don't know what trendy is, is a, but if I did know, I would like a dad sweater. That. I'm a dad and I would not wear that. <laughs> I'm offended by that. All right. This is New Texas tags. from Academy Sports. We Book have that. Right. Retail for $18. Yeah, 
Bevo. The Longhorns, right? Remember we, we saw Bevo. We did. We went to visit my good friend in Texas and we saw all the things. We fly into Austin to get to her place in Georgetown. Okay, so this says stay lit. <laughs> stay lit. That's what the kids say these days. So this only retails for 18 I know, bucks. I think but... I know one meaning of that word and I don't think that's appropriate for a college t-shirt, but. No? Okay, your turn. I mean, only because We're they're, old, they're under 21. <laughs> They're not all of age. I graduated college before I turned 21, I so. All right. I have, with a, looks like a laundry tag, so it hasn't been to the dry cleaners, a polo Ralph Lauren cotton v-neck sweater. Not to be confused with Lauren Ralph Lauren. That's why I said specifically polo mm -hmm. Ralph so Lauren, not Lauren. Pima cotton, I bet it feels Ralph nice. Lauren. Do they have a Ralph and a... They have all, all the all of them? Purple labels. Really, what you want? Oh, okay. extra large. XL, but it has the purple. It's nice. Jockey and pony. All right, no more clothes. We've got several pairs of shoes. Is that a? Uh, so, uh, I'll probably list it. Buy, sell, trade, or list? Okay. I'll list it. All right. Let's now we're down to shoes. Shoes in the here. Bottom. These are nice. Good looking pair of Nikes. I love selling shoes. I would have been fine to open this box and find nothing but shoes. A little but wear, but they're tied together. Um, why can't Someone I open this? knotted them together. These are a men's size 12 Nike running. They're separate now. Just, I mean, they were definitely worn, but not a lot. It's like a blaze orange too. And if you're watching this, I'm sure you know, Thread Up does not accept men's items. So that's why sometimes you find some really great gems. I feel like this, this box so far has just been kind of bread and butter, boring, nothing like, oh. And here we have a pair of Pumas. Same thing. Very little heel wear. I don't see any scuffing around the outsole, so not much cleaning to do. And we have a size US 12. So maybe have, the same person. Yes, I, I will like. interject and say, if you are a man or you have a, a, a house, what, I can't speak today. It's wine time. I mean, maybe they don't have a house. <laughs> if you have a spouse, significant other, man in your life, that has a lot of shoes. This guy did. He cleaned them out. And you guys, I listed, I took the time and listed all of his shoes. I mean, they were play condition. I mean, some of the vans, I was like, mm, should I even list these? His shoes sold, I mean, so, so many pairs sold within a week. Play condition, good condition. There was, of course, some, some decent ones. But some of them, I got them at thrift stores originally. Get them listed. Okay, this might be what makes the most money out of this box. These retail of Timberlands. Man. I mean, they are just nice work boots. They're genuine leather. Timberland. Um, they're size 11. They do have some scuffing on the toe, but from this is what I'm saying. Men, they know they like Timberland boots. They know what size they wear. They need them for work. They're gonna get scuffed anyways. I mean, honestly, I've been scuffing on that one. Yeah, that I mean, one that could just be from shipping. Yeah, I really like, these now have that I'm not looking. Been worn. You see, there is scuffing, but if, yeah, looking at the bottoms, they're like brand new. Yeah, no, like they, or they wore them on carpet only or something, you know? Well, that's kind of a bummer because, you know, but that, yeah, that's it's just fine. being tossed around in boxes and stuff. Prime off 200 grams, so they're going to keep you a little bit warm. I mean, anyway, right. boot well, one anyways. more thing. All right, these, is that a, I thought that was a ladies brand. So did I. Those look kind of like a woman's shirt. So aerosols. Loafers, uh, they're like a navy blue. You can't tell there, but they're suede material. Uh, but with the way that sole is wedged like that, I feel like this these might be ladies 11 shoes. 11 M, which that could be just the normal width or that could be 11 men's. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, I guess we'd have to look it up and see if they actually well, made. Because the, the, the style's called time off. So it has a style. Yeah, this might be women's actually. We'll see. I don't I mean, know. I'm an 11. Oh, actually. you are. Uh, so these are leather though, and these style. These are not of, a men's eleven. No, oh no, these are definitely. You can't see off camera, but my feet are not going in these. <laughs> he looked like Cinderella's stepsister. I have like that step much sister. heel. Yeah, Drizella over yes. here. Yes. Okay, so you know, the Mets sad about there. these. They're one hundred percent nice blue suede leather shoes well, and blue suede shoes. Blue suede shoes. Uh, it's surprising how many pairs I've had of blue suede shoes. So that's the box. Uh, what do you think, babe? I mean, overall, pretty decent. I think a hundred bucks. Like, well, you'll get that back. You uh, know, the goal is, of course, not always just to get it back, but if there's things for you to keep, then... I mean, the goal know, is, yeah, you want a diamond in the rough and have, like, a right. good money maker out of these boxes, which is never going to happen. So, to me, it's just like, hey, are you at least going to, like, 
go more there's than break even. You will go more than break even. You'll still profit yes. off of this box. There's only a couple pieces that are going to go to buy, sell, trade. I will list you know, most of the these. The sports stuff will sell. Having, yeah. you know, good, there's a good handful of shoes that were basically like I new. Yeah. Lots I mean, of new with tags items. I'm there's not as only well educated as you uh, with these, this stuff. But. Adidas golf. Pants had staining, but but I will be able to probably get I think those I'll be able out. To that. Yes, this is the only kind of nah, like. Yeah, that's from 1990s. <laughs> it really is, but it's you know, maybe that maybe that's what it is. that kind of stuff's coming back in. Um, you know what? That's it. Like some teenage girl is gonna buy that a and girl, cut the yes, belly off it yes. or something, and then have it long sleeve. Well, thanks for assisting me today. I think yeah, that you know, overall, that's this what is I do. Fun. I assist. You do. You're a great assister. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one. See Bye. Ya.